Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this login page of my quiz or exam management system project. If you are not seeing that video, just go to the description and check out the link. When we click on login, it will move to the home page. So in this video, I'm going to design for this home page. And one more thing, we are just forget to, to add this index page with our login page. So first we are going to connect this page. So I just need to move to the event action action performed. And here I just need to write here, set visible. And we just need to here write false. And after that we need to set new visible. That one is our login admin page, okay? Set visible true, okay? Now let's get connected now. Now we have to just write the codes for this admin home page. Okay. Now, now first thing is we are going to increase the size is to one three six six comma seven sixty eight. Okay. And after that we are going to the properties and removing the min, max, and close button from this. Okay. Let me close this. After that, let me minimize this. Okay. After that we need a menu menu bar. So here you can see swing menu, there's an option of menu bar. I'm just going to place it here, okay? And just let me copy this. Copy this and paste. Okay. Here we need seven buttons, okay? One by one. Four, five, and six, okay? One by one we are going to read this text. Let me write here. Add add new question okay and after that update question one by one we are going to write for this update question okay after updating question we have uh, all question option button you can say after all questions we need a uh, read question sorry delete question okay and after deleting question we also need a button to see all the student re result all student result okay and after all student result we also need another for the log out and one more we need here for the exit okay let me read exit okay now for the every we are going to insert icon so i already provided a link for these images just go to the description check out the link and download this all images okay for the add new question first we are going to insert icon here from there i'm selecting add new question you can see and one more thing I'm going to do that increasing the size is to 14 bold 14 okay and we are also setting a little bit margin in it you can see this is a margin option select here and I am just setting the left to 5 and right I am setting to the 30 okay let me click on okay close now just right click on this going to the properties and uh, for this I am selecting update question you can see PNG images we have let me close this after that we are also going to do the same thing like uh, first we are doing doing is increasing the size of this making it as bold 14 okay after that we are also doing that uh, increasing the size to sorry we are making it as left margin 30 and the right margin right margin 30 sorry okay one by one we are going to do for the all so let me select once and going to the properties and we are selecting it as bold 14 okay and we are also setting the margin here the margin option making left it as 5 and right we are setting is to 30 let me click on ok ok close ok this one is not get selected let me select this 
and we also need to select this okay so automatically get this selected group one by one we are going to do for the all okay now let me click on ok and i am setting the margin is also same for the left i am setting 5 and for the right i am setting 30 okay now now we are inserting for this icons of this all question all question all question png image close this delete question okay delete question okay delete question png image is selected let me close this and we are also setting increasing the size of this exit okay and here i'm just a uh, font making it as bold 14 okay just close this and for the all student we are inserting the icon all student result you can see let me close this for the logout we are selecting an image logout okay and for the exit exit or you can say close i guess close yeah for the close let me check is the size form uh 768 133 and it, okay now one more thing we need to add a border in it and with the name of navigator bar okay so for that i am just going to the property need to going to the properties of this form menu bar properties you can see and in this you just need to move to the border section and here just select this titled border you can see this one and he, here you just need to write whatever you want to so i'm just writing navigator navigator navigation bar i'm just writing navigation bar and here i'm just selecting the color is red okay let me select it and after that we are setting the size is to the th bold 36 let me select the bold 36 okay you can see it's done let me click on okay okay this one is selected for the first button okay let me get back and select for this all okay now right me cl click on properties and do the same thing we need to do again okay titled border and here I just need to write navigation bar okay and after that we are selecting the color here again okay after that we are making it as bold 36 okay let me click on okay let me also change the color background color is to the rate okay now you can see this only looking good now you can see this is uh, and one more thing we need to insert an image in the background of this form so for that we just need to move to the set layout absolute layout and after that we have to insert a label here i'm just placing a label going to the properties and here i am just selecting an image let me check the name of that image index background yeah we are going to use the uh, index background image okay index background image here and let me place it perfectly to this form okay you can see we are perfectly placed that so here you can see this one is the front end part has been completed now we have to write the code in the back end of this form so we need to write the code in the event and in the mouse clicked event make sure you are writing the code in mouse click otherwise that code will maybe not work okay so mouse clicked event you have to write the code okay and here i just need to write here Z, first we need to import one thing import import zava dot swing swing x i guess swing dot j frame okay zava x i guess yeah zava x okay 
after that we just need to write here z frame zf equals to new z frame here okay and zf is dot set set always always on the top and here just need to write true you can see we are setting this is true because we like let me move to the design section and here i'm going to understand get to understand that what uh, we are using it so here when we click on this button it will open a form and at the same time you just want to exit this application you click on it when there is a form will be open that j option can get hided in the back of that form that's why we are using j from gf set always on the top okay after that we int a a equals to j option pan i am using j option pan dot show dot uh, so confirmation from dialog okay and in this i am going to write gf and after that we are going to write here do you really want to log out okay and after that we are writing a select select and g option pan dot yes or no option you can see okay after that we are taking a variable if a i am already taking a variable a a is equal equals to 0 it means that the user selected yes so in that in that case we have to set the visible set to visible false this page we are setting the false and we are setting the new visible that one is our login admin set visible true okay you can see now now we have to write the code for the exit let me write going to right click on this event and we have to move to the mouse click i guess mouse mouse clicked event okay and here we are just going to copy the same code but in that we are going to little bit change in it let me copy this let me paste it here and here first we need to change it to exit application one two exit application okay and one more thing we just need to delete this set visible and here i'm just writing the system dot exit you can see uh, zero okay now now our admin part is completed but one more thing we are going to declare one more vari variable here we are going to use in upcoming videos public static int open equals to zero we are setting we are going to use this variable in upcoming videos okay so let me run this and here you can see our form has been created perfectly it's let me click on log out it's working or not you can see do you really want to log out when we click on no it will not do anything and uh, let me check out for this exit button yes it's working and let me log out first you can see and when we get back to the login page when we click on back you can see we'll move to the index page when we click on admin it's moved to the login page so this is all about admin home page and in the next video i'm going to write the codes for or uh, creating a page for add new question so i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you